Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsuki, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. This is my current ice farm. I collect a few stacks, then I hide in a cubby hole and wait until the water is frozen over again the next morning. Today, I want to automate this process. Water freezes slowly and only in the player's vicinity. Therefore, we need a large area in a snowy biome and a means to traverse it at the right speed so there's always ice to mine. This is the place where I will build the ice farm. First, however, I need to dig out a bit more of the terrain here because it's really big. It stretches all the way over there to that rise and uh, over that small hill here in the front. So uh, let's get that out of the way. This farm is a design by Nembon, so you can expect it to be very efficient. His video is linked down in the description. There you can also find this world download to check it out for yourself. I will use a different block palette, however, as I find it confusing to distinguish which blocks in this form are farmable and which belong to the building itself. However, there are a few things I want to mention that illustrate some ideas behind this form. If there are water sources along two edges, the whole area will be flooded and become water source blocks, which we will use in this farm as only source blocks can freeze to ice. The player can mine up to five blocks in front of them when pressed towards the front. At the back of the same block, the fifths in front can no longer be reached. This is important as the sixth block in front of the player is the water source on one side to reform the water. The player needs to move through the farm. Walking is basically a no-go as that would essentially be the same as I did it so far. This leaves minecarts and water streams. Minecarts are relatively fast and when not constantly powered they have quite a bit of speed difference so the player may, may not be able to mine all blocks in front. In addition, the traversal of the farm should be slow enough to allow the water to freeze again before the player comes back around. This leaves water streams which also have a speed differential and occasionally need a new source block. Having a water stream of length 4 on a nice pass is a good balance as after four block in the water stream you still have enough momentum to skim over the water free ice block into the next stream. Let's build this farm and then I will show you how it actually works. The farm itself is completed. At the other end down there I installed a shulker box loaded to collect all the ice. Over here on this side at the entry we have a bit of redstone. So you move through this whole farm basically mining all the time and then when passing this item frame your well-used pickaxe will be placed in there and when moving over the pressure plate here a uh, snowball will shut out, dislodging the pickaxe and collecting it in the chest. At the same time, a uh, food item and a new pickaxe will be dispensed and you are good for the next round. However, I still have to collect the food and the uh, pickaxes so uh, we can do a proper demonstration once that's done as well. With the door being where it is, I need to be careful that an item is placed in the item frame before crossing the pressure plate, otherwise the snowball will shoot down the item frame and the whole setup is broken. The way this farm works is you 
aim approximately at the middle and press the left mouse button and keep it pressed. That way you constantly mine the ice while being moved along the water stream. All the mined ice will flow towards you and then along the water channel where at every other column it gets sorted out towards the storage. Every now and then you press the right mouse button to consume some food from your offhand. The mouse buttons can also be bound to keyboard buttons and a script can control the clicking, making this a fully automated AFK form. I did not yet manage to fill in all the pickaxes, only one shulker box full, as enchanting them with silk touch, mending, unbreaking 3 and efficiency 5, so you would only require efficiency 3, takes about 20 level of XP. At 27 pickaxes this makes a total of 540 XP. I hope you enjoyed this episode and will tune in for the next one pretty soon. Until then, it's goodbye! <laughs>